Hey everybody, it's Josh with Cool Guys Nation. I am here with another X-Wing paint tutorial slash experiment because that's what I'm doing with a lot of these is just seeing how things work out. I'm going to be using some new weathering techniques. You might find something you can utilize in some, uh, some way, shape, or form. If you do, remember to share, spread the love, uh, and we'll be right back. Paints used for this were Griffound Orange, Baby Poop, Gilliman Flesh, Fresh Grass, Heaven on Black, Iron and Yellow, Strong Tone, Apothecary White, Skeleton Horde, Rhinox Hide, Basilicum Gray, Silver, White, and then we've got the, the Contrast Black, Black Templar as well. Hey, welcome back. We're going to be doing a Zam Wessel inspired Slave One for their new ship. And I'll be starting with Apothecary White. And the whole thing I'm gonna to try to do here is just try to get some of these white areas that I want blocked out. I'm getting very uh, clean, but obviously just makes it quicker and easier if I do get it very clean on the first pass. We're gonna use the, the color combinations that they had in the movie, which like I said, gray and yellow and green. Okay, gray areas are done. Uh, I may go back in and do some more um, afterwards, but uh, we shall see. I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll work on the next section. Well, while we're waiting, I'm gonna be using Abaddon Black and we're gonna use that Abaddon Black to just paint the cockpit real quick. Back. I'm gonna do the main body with Ayan in yellow. Another contrast paint. Just gonna be careful not to hit the gray we've painted on already. But we do want to go all the way up to the line. Try not to let it pull that too much. Doing my little outline technique. Hectic painting on white for me for some reason. Breathe, holding my breath. I don't really need to with this because if I make a mistake, I can fix it fairly easily. I can go on to the black a little bit. I'm not worried about that too much. That yellow is not going to show in that black. I think we're good with the yellow for now. Next, we're going to use that fresh grass Vallejo. And we're going to be doing the rest of the body here. So this is going on very watery. We're probably going to have to do two coats of this and evaluate at that point. This is a, certainly a look. I'm not super sure <laughs> how this is going to come out, but we're going for it. All right, we're going to let that dry and then I'll come back with the second coat. And we'll see how that turns out after that. All right, next step is going to be washing the green with baby poop. This is like a greenish brown wash. I'm actually going to uh, wash this pretty heavily onto the green part. Now I'm gonna have to be really careful when I'm doing this not to let it glob up too much. Pretty strong color. I'm having to wick up quite a bit. I'm just gonna be wary of that as I go along here. I am liking the way that that's making that green look. You can see how much wicking I'm doing up here. And then I'm gonna do the back because I went and put that green on the back here too. And I, I can do this more heavily on the back. Actually, I think it'll look even better with it heavier on the back. Okay, yeah, it's looking good so far. Back's looking good. I think we're gonna let that dry and see where we're at. Next, we're gonna be using Basilicum Gray. I'm gonna be painting the uh, parts of the wings. I'm gonna be painting the back, things like that with this color. 
So inside here and on the wings and also the back of the fuselage and underneath. I'm gonna leave the engine parts, the actual uh, energy ports, I don't know what you call them. I'm gonna leave those bare just because I know I'm gonna do something with them. I don't know what though, but they don't need to be covered right now. I'm gonna go back to the apothecary white because we had to fix a little bit of a screw up where the ink went a little bit over onto this paint part. So we're just gonna redo this top part right here a little bit. We're gonna be doing some special stuff. We're gonna be utilizing this strong tone and we're gonna be putting it all over this model at least the green and yellow and gray areas and I'm gonna be wicking it up pretty quick with an earbud I'm gonna do each separate area though you just grab it and pull off what you want keep it real nice and dirty where you want it as well you'll see that I'm pulling a lot off of these flat panels I'm really trying to preserve that bottom color while still having some shade and making it dirty. Oh no, he fell off. Alright. You might need to bring a couple of Q-tips with you for this. But this is going to give it that more grimy, realistic look as well. And anything you don't like, we can cover up in the next section when we do the heavy weathering. You want to leave some extra for streaks in certain areas, you can certainly do that as well. I'm going to be working on this back section here, around this edge where we've got that green. And then I'm going to do the wings next. On the back here, I'm going to take very little off. And I'm going to put some extra, just for some color in various parts of this back. Just to break it up so it doesn't look all one color-y, because you know that's what it is right now. But that'll break up that color quite a bit. And there's how she looks so far. You're starting to really see it come together now. The weathering really makes it look Star Warsy. Next, we're gonna use some silver. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a real. Um, well, I guess we, what we're gonna do is just pick out some panels or other things that we want painted silver. Anything that you see is a little accoutrement that you would like to see. A little bit more, uh, just variation in what's kind of going on with this model. Just pick out some silver wherever you like, and uh, that's this whole step. And we are gonna do a little bit of dry brush on the guns at the bottom. So, Get your dry brush, get most of the paint off it, and we're just going to lightly dry brush these guns down here, give them a little bit of detail, nothing crazy. I'm actually going to hit a little bit of these, this gray detail that I put on, this basilicum. I think it'll look good with a little hit. You don't even have to do all of it, just some of it, it's totally fine. Like I said, most of it's coming off. And put a little bit. Just hitting things, giving illusions that stuff is painted differently than it actually is. Alright, time to do some battle damage, getting out my Ron Oxhide. Just getting a little dollop on the tray, a little bit of pluck foam, and just getting some of that paint. I think I need a little bit more paint. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, put some battle damage on this bad boy. And I'm gonna really try to focus it on places that I think would be the most hit. You just see a big flat area. Doesn't look like it's very interesting. Put some of this on it. It'll jazz it right up. 
that first part's done. Now I'm just gonna use the same uh, thing and I'm gonna put some of this uh, silver on here again. And we're gonna do the same thing, just a little bit lighter. And we're gonna try to hit a lot of those bases we just hit. They can be a little bit out, but we definitely wanna make sure that this is a lot lighter than the other, than the, the brown. We want this to be much less pronounced. But you wanna still try to hit the same area so it looks like there's actually like metal getting scraped off. So. Just go around thusly. Hit any areas you did hit before. Trying to, it's basically highlighting those little scratches that you already put on. Okay, so that's that part is done. We're gonna do some contrast Griffhound orange. I'm just gonna paint it on those two engines right there. Cause it looks cool. So just gonna pop these in. And I'm gonna actually go over onto the gray a little bit. Cause this is naturally gonna look like a little OSL. Where we'll get the brightest look on the center there. We're gonna do our little sneaky, make it look glowing. Just take a, I'm gonna take a new. Just take off some of that shade. Like that. that's gonna create a natural looking glow effect. I might go in with a little bit of the yellow that I've got actually. So I'm using the uh, Allende yellow right here, mixing it on the outside here. Pulling it a little bit in, but leaving a little circle so you'll see. It looks like a little bit of a dot in the center, just like a little engine blasty blast. take a little bit of this skeleton horde this contrast color and I'm gonna put it in a couple of places on the back same thing that we were talking about before just making it a little bit more interesting to that strong tone this is really just like finishing touches we're gonna get that strong tone and we are going to go over that bare metal that we put on a little bit ago on those uh, those panels that we were working on and you're just gonna hit those those panels with uh, with that wash just trying to tone the shine down a little bit not all the way just a little bit some tricky tricks is I'm gonna take some Gilliman flesh shade and I'm gonna do some streakages with this flesh shade and I'm just gonna make some lines uh, in here this is like a reddish brown so I'm just gonna add a little bit of streakiness maybe highlight a little bit of these panels just trying to add some color depth and well, that's a little bit much and some streaks this is the fun part you're just putting a little bit of uh, extra touches on this stuff. Nothing you do is wrong here. I feel like Bob Ross now. Happy little paint discolorations though. And uh, she's done. Uh, I don't think anything else needs to go on her. So this is Zam Wessel's uh, inspired fire spray. Hope you enjoyed this painting tutorial. Next step I'm gonna take is as soon as everything dries, I am going to put on my handy dandy spray lacquer and then I'm going to gloss 
varnish the uh, the visor. So and then we'll be done. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, but I hope you learned something fun and interesting and I hope you take some inspiration from this. As always, we'll see you on the table. Thank you.